We'll call the meeting to order, uh, March 16th meeting of the CIPC. It is being filmed for future broadcast on the public access channel. I got 631. All right, first item, um, let me jump over to the agenda, which I don't have a print copy of, so I'm working on my phone. Send it, or is it just on the site? Just on the site. Just on the site. Get this open a second ago. All right. So, first item on the agenda is chairman remarks. I have no other remarks other than, um, you know, hoping Harry recovers well. Yeah. Hope um, it's nothing. And then uh, next item on the agenda is to approve the minutes from our last meeting. Is there any questions, uh, changes, omissions on uh, mm -hmm. on the minutes? They look good to me. Okay. It was a simple meeting. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the March 2nd, 2022 CIPC meeting. There a second? I'll, I'll second because I know you wrote the mic, so I'll second that. Uh, any changes? No. Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, under old business, we have um, ARPA possible funding mechanism, but I think what we probably makes sense to talk about first is we have both the fire chief and DPW superintendent here so why don't we talk about any 2024 requests that uh, that you gentlemen might might be bringing forth uh, we can start with the fire chief Seth I got nothing you got nothing no, okay done uh, moving on Joe <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, last meeting I had watched uh, the meeting and Harry had made a comment that I hadn't submitted he hadn't heard anything from the fire department um, I gently reminded him that I sent the capital plan for this year back in July and he oh. didn't remember that he had gotten it that far that long ago um, basically it's just a, an update of <coughs> previous projects um, and then he basically updated the years uh, as you know um, capital planning supported the purchase of a new ambulance uh, a year and a half ago uh, there were some issues with delay in production of getting a chassis uh, we had to seek additional funding um, because like basically we're two model years newer now um, and we're able to find a demo unit uh, that was immediately available so we're able to get that purchase complete uh, the truck is in service um, it's you can't miss it's white and mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty well marked um, so that project um, is complete uh, last year you brought forward the um, uh, breathing air compressor um, that was brought forward to the ARPA committee. It was funded by the Board of Selectmen to use ARPA funds to purchase that. Uh, it was scheduled to be delivered and installed on Tuesday, but due to the storm, it got delayed a week, so it'll be here next week. Uh, so that project will be complete as well. Um, the two big ones that are really, you know, up front for us, um, obviously, is a, uh, a space needs analysis and a conceptual drawing, I might say, on the public safety building. Uh, everyone talks about, we built a public safety building back in 2003, we really didn't. We added on mm -hmm. a police station to the existing fire station. And the existing fire station was built in 75. There was no additional accommodations built into that building for the fire department. As far as living quarters for full-time staff, there was never any consideration when that building was done that we would see full-time staff uh, moving forward. Um, so we would like to have some type of study done. And it could be a combination of both police and fire to look at all the needs of the building. Uh, is it more cost effective to move the police department out of the building into a new police station and the fire department take over the existing building? Uh, those are the things that need to be answered um, and see which way uh, would be the best uh, way to move forward. If we can get a plan and a, um, a, a shovel ready project done as far as uh, architectural studies and design and basically almost bid documents um, there's state um, and 
in um, the state right now is looking at a building, public safety building uh, needs um, funding, similar to the school uh, funding project. Uh, now that a lot of the schools are getting uh, caught up, they want to do a similar project uh, and funding sources like that to match communities uh, for public safety buildings. But again, you have to be shovel ready and have a project ready. They're not going to fund a design or anything like that. They will say, okay, we have a plan. We know what the square footage cost is going to be. We're going to fund you at you know X percent and the town's going to contribute. So we're just trying to get ahead of that. So if funding does come available, we can jump on that as well. So you're just trying to get an analysis done? Correct. Do you have any idea what that would cost? I, I, I mean, that's, I know. Right. I'm and I, 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 I put in a, you know, if you were going to do a full study, architectural drawings and everything, you'd probably look at a million dollars. Yeah. You know, um, to make a bid, bid, a bid document, bid document yeah. ready. So that's a huge project. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think we need to really answer some questions first. <clears throat> you also know what's called DSP at that point, the right. selection board process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The state has pretty strict stuff when you're yep. over 30000 to design or over 300000 in the right. project cost. Yeah. They have, you end up, then go into what's called the design selection, uh, designer selection board process. Um, so the state has some pretty strict yeah. rules on how you proceed in that yeah. manner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, Sorry. So that's, you know, that's something that's a high priority for us because Obviously, as the town grows, the need for police and fire service is greatly expanding, and we're, we're just bursting at the seams. Um, by moving dispatch out short term is only basically getting us 800 more square feet. It's not getting us much more um, usable space. Um, and the last thing um, we've been bringing forward and basically put it on everyone's radar um, is to replace our ladder truck. Uh, it was purchased in 1999. Uh, it's coming up on uh, 23 years old, uh, 24 years old. So the life expectancy is 25. Um, is in the last two years, we probably have invested over $60,000 into repairs on it. Um, each year, we're pushing forward for federal grant funding to um, support this project, similar to what we did with the last ambulance. Um, problem is, there's a lot of other communities that are ahead of us with older older ladder trucks. Uh, this year we're still in the running, um, so we haven't got the denial letter, which is a good sign. I've talked to the regional FEMA rep uh, who handles our area, and he says that we scored very well. Um, there's only so much pool of money this year. Um, if it doesn't get funded this year, he strongly recommended that we fund uh, apply for it again next year, and that we'll be basically hopefully bump up even further. The problem is, is that you're only going to get a million dollars towards a ladder truck from the federal government, and right now, a ladder truck or any fire truck right now is two to three year build time, and the cost right now is for a ladder truck is 1.5 to 2 million dollars, uh, and a mm -hmm. regular fire truck. Uh, right now, it's pushing nine hundred thousand dollars. It's kind of up. When we it's first crazy. talked about it, I think it was one point one. Yeah, yeah. that was like oh, yeah. two years ago. Yeah, one point one. Yeah. Uh, COVID has done a lot of things. Um, it has slowed down the production of, of tremendous uh, mm -hmm. stuff. And the problem mm -hmm. is, is that when you're forecasting out that if you're not going to build a piece of equipment for two to three years, no one knows what the price is really going to be in the market. So the inflation price is just out of control. Um, so I just want to put that on the radar. Uh, that we are aggressively pursuing that. If we do get federal fundings up to a million dollars, that I'm going to be looking, you know, to supplement the difference in some form. Um, so, other than that, so how do you want to handle that, Seth? Um, as far as a recommendation and even appropriation of funds. So timing wise, timing wise, um, the, the obviously we would not have to match any federal funding until the delivery yeah. of it. Um, so you're looking at two to three years out for the actual funding piece. If they approved it now, if they approve, right. Yeah. So um, that's that's the question: is do you recommend upon you know procuring federal funding that you this would bump up based on that? Um, you know, or at, at some point if, if we don't get the federal funding, we're going to have to do something. Mm. Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, that's obviously a bond. Um, that's obviously a bond for you know 15 years. You mm. know, we have to do a debt that long just to make it a reasonable price. Mm. Um, but just something to put on the radar. Um, everything else, all our smaller pieces of equipment, um, basically just fall in line over the next five years. Uh, I'll give you an idea uh, of where we are. 
Yeah, you, you got things were listed, listed out in this. Yeah, pretty clearly. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know, so I try to keep you up to date, and I try to keep the replacement cost schedule up to date. So that's probably the biggest thing that you'll need to update your spreadsheets. Is each year that I, I resubmit, I'm trying to keep up with the inflation of what the actual yeah, costs are. Actual cost. Is there a timeline on when that's announced on the grant? Yeah. So uh, the federal grant started to be announced um, in September. This is, um, and then they added additional <coughs> funds to that program and extended it. And right now, they're continuing to award it uh, every two weeks. Uh, this awarding of um, a certain allotment. Mm -hmm. And then, and basically, until they run out of money. Right, so yeah, so uh, there's no no idea sure. how much money's left in that pot. Um, the application deadline for next year's uh, has already passed. I've already submitted it. Um, okay. That won't. So I've already submitted all the documentation, re reapplied. So that's done. Uh, those will start to be awarded probably late July, early August. Um, so you know, so it'd be could, a fall it could be continuous. You just couldn't. Right yes, now. exactly. Yep. So. I'll keep you up to date as we move forward and anything changes, so that's it. Well, kind of the reason I asked that question is one of the things that um, advances things, I guess, on on the state, the, the, the grading sheet sure. that the CIPC uses, which yep. is a state guide, yep. is the availability of grant funding. Right. That obviously helps. Yep. So if we put the ladder truck in the mix yep. and we put it on that that yep. uh, that waits, grading yeah. sheet, it's going to weigh very heavily. Sure. So, I, I guess <laughs> you know the recommendation would end up being a result of that sure. weighting, right? Yep. So it would be difficult to turn around and say, "Oh, it weighed really high," but then the grant funding goes away. Right. I, I think we'd have to come back and relook yeah, at yeah, it sure. again. Yep. So if we I, were I to put it on our yep. list I and, it, yep. and it got weighted heavily because of it. Yep. Uh, the recommendation would be subject Heading to the subject, availability sure. of a grant, yep. and then as far as availability of funds, it's it's how the town would sure. choose whether they choose to earmark funds and put it in a special article, half yep. a million to, yep. to for the difference. Yep. that's up to the town. But, but with that yeah. build time, if we're looking at two to three year build time, we would know if the grant because we you wouldn't move forward until the grant. I oh, was just yes. Yeah. You, you can't commit the town to that yeah. type of money without. So we would have yeah. oh, yeah, all that lead time. I, I'm just thinking as far as our recommendation, if we were to include it in our in our you know, what we rank this year. Right. You know, it might come out ahead because of yeah. the fact that it has some grant opportunity. Right. Right. Yep. You know, and if the grant a year from now we don't get it and it get it falls off the radar, it doesn't look like we will get it, we'll probably have to re look at it and reevaluate yeah. it based on those new right, you know, parameters. Well, that's where we've been for the last couple of years. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why we haven't rated it yet. Yeah. Well it's, but yeah. and that's the thing, we haven't rated it right. to this point exactly. because we kind of been waiting on the yep. grant. Yeah. So pretty much all the past projects that you've approved for the fire department have been completed. Um, through grant funding or securing other funds. Um, so we haven't had, other than the town's matching of the 5% for the ambulance, we haven't had to go to town meeting for any other mm -hmm. fire department purchases in several years because we were able to secure other funding mm -hmm. sources. So we've been very fortunate mm -hmm. um, to leverage that as well, so. So aside from the ladder truck and the space analysis, yeah. the, I didn't see anything else. No, there's nothing. 24. No, okay. Uh, we may need Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, something I was working with the fire chief. On. We may need more money to fix your roof. Well, oh, that yes. was going to be my right. next yes. question. Yeah, yeah. I got I, the uh, uh, the engineer's proposal to finish the analysis. I don't have that number in my head. I'm sorry. I want to say around fifty thousand, yeah. just to do the design and an for that process. Yep. That's um, the roof. The, the yeah, leaking, right? It's yeah, more than the roof. It's more than the roof. Well, there's, there's water infiltration and the ground water issues and stuff. That's been resolved. Oh, that, 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 that's that. that been resolved, yeah. yes. Uh, the problem is, is... Does it rain in your office? It rains in the other pretty heavily, office? yeah. So, <laughs> if you ever look, if you're ever standing at the annex and look over the public safety building, the front wall and the back wall basically has... Go, the uh, masonry goes higher than the wall, it's, than the roof line itself. Mm. And that capstone that goes up and over, mm. um, all the water is coming down through the capstone, through the block wall, um, and just raining into the building. And it comes down onto the concrete slab floor and just comes right under the carpet and all, all the offices. Uh, wow. So it is a big, big project. Um, we, uh, it was just poor design um, and execution when they built the building. Um, yeah. I mean, to so, me, that's a pretty high priority. 
I mean, if you, if you watched the meeting right, from last yes. time, you saw yes. my comments. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's... We have active roof leaks in this building, too, and they were... We hired somebody to do an analysis, and there were design flaws here as well. Oh, sure. Mostly, it, they were, it was actually the same contractor yeah. in both yeah. buildings. Yeah. So, so um, we talked internally, and once we found we had a designer coming in to design the updates to the... the they're basically cupolas around the um, air handling units and the heaters on the roof. This building? Yes, for yes. this building. Okay. They're the same team is going to work on his building. Okay. So where is the, so the, were funds appropriated for we got the ARPA, analysis? We got ARPA, ARPA, ARPA funds for the analysis. Yeah, analysis. But not the repair. Not to repair. So to me, you know, again, if we spend money on an analysis, it's silly not to That's execute the, well, the no, construction. These are design. This isn't an analysis. Yeah, yeah this will be this bid document. documents, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, but the point is the right. same. You know, if we spend money right. for the bid documents yeah. to get it to that point, we know what the problem is. Yeah. To shelve it and not do anything right. with it is just ridiculous. Waste, 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 waste. Waste. So to me, yeah, yeah, we planned on finding asking. We just don't have a number for you yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do, you, okay. do you have any idea when you might, when they might have documents? I don't think it'll be ready for the annual town meeting. You don't? No. Okay. I think well, it'll be a fall, fall. It'll be a fall town meeting with a spring repair. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's where. Because you're hiring an architect, basically. Yeah. yeah. Be yeah. I wish we had even a ballpark, uh, because to me, to make recommendations for other items when that's such a high you know priority item, when yeah. you know it's yeah. coming and the timing just doesn't align, um, you know. Well, we, I don't, we don't have a ballpark. I'm yeah. just being candid. If yeah. I, no, I get it. I get it. If but I, I think go, that's if something we like this yeah, half a million, I would, but I don't have You it. can't do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> But I think it's something that hopefully the Finance Committee and the Board of Selectmen are aware that it's oh, coming. Uh, yes. Okay, yes. so that recommendations yeah. that are made, yeah. hopefully that's in the back of the yes. mind. Yeah. What did the library cost the roof repairs? Well, not there yet. I don't have that number. You yeah. don't know? They're not done. Okay. Yep. The design's done, but yeah. I don't have the engineers. Well, I thought the design was done. No. I just didn't know no. if they had started anything. No. No. It would have been a great week to work on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other questions for the fire chief? Thank you. Okay. Thanks, sir. Um, I guess. Well, I say I say no other questions. The space needs study, the analysis there on the on the renovation. That's that's been an ongoing sticking point because there's so many facility type right. yep. challenges. Whether it be the town hall, whether it be dispatch, whether right, it yeah. be you know the the fire the public safety building. Um, the town had a pretty co sorry to interrupt you. Yep. Um, and I don't hear the chair, but the t the, the uh, facility studies was very comprehensive, and one of the things it calls out in there is the need for the town to prioritize some of its functions. Exactly. Within there's space available. Um, somebody mm -hmm. just has to make some decisions. That's in that document. Yeah. Um, you agree? Yep. So I think that's what we were waiting for to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, but that's not something uh, we should. No, I know not you. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think it's difficult. I mean, if the fire chief comes in and says we need a we need renovations to the public safety building. Great. If that's the only formal proposal we get right. or request that we get, it's the only one we're weighing up. Right. But we know just because we're aware of what's around us, there's right. other needs. Yeah. So for us to only consider mm -hmm. the public safety because the chief came in and right. said, "Hey, I need one." Knowing that all these other things are out there, it, it to me it, it just doesn't make sense. We yeah. need a, a, a lot, lot of larger. building needs. Yeah, yeah. there is a lot of building needs, um, and the ones that were done to date were done with myself and the previous mm -hmm. town administrator and that report, and it was all done in about a week. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't the current because you're in transition and yeah. you've been in transition for what seems like an excessive amount of time. Um, that capital planning piece isn't there right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. And it's tough. It's particularly tough it, it, given the current budget situation. Sure. So, yeah. well, Gary wanted us yet to talk about the budgets. Yep. In addition to the school budgets. Yeah. That he's talking about right now. So I got a, you all set? Yeah, I'm good. So I got a call from the chair very late this afternoon, what, 4 o'clock, 3.30? Mm -hmm. Asking me to be here, so I'm really not super prepared. I'll do the best I can from memory. Sure. Um, well, we have one submission from you already. We got the sweeper, right? The sweeper. Yes. We've seen the quote. But I didn't do the formal um, paperwork. I didn't fill it out. The uh, sweeper has been it's, on the It's been on the list. So you didn't put it in last year. It was listed as last year. It's been listed. Yes. But nothing was funded last year. Yeah. Equipment, so. 
or the year before? Well, well, we had some. We recommended some. Yeah, we recommended. Uh, uh, there were some plows and yeah. some things. Yeah. I think we got a used dump truck two yeah. years ago or three years right. ago now. We recommended another one last year. Yeah, I'm trying no to find funded. Okay. We recommended one two years ago and we recommended one last year. It's not, your, it's not you folks' fault. I mean, you do what no, you I'm just do. trying to make sure we don't. You know, if we've already made a recommendation on a piece of equipment, then I don't. I don't think we have to re-recommend. You know, if it's out there and it's an unfunded recommendation, then that's the way it stands. I just don't want us to. I think Gary was looking for all the outdated ones that were recommended but were never funded to get that list. Okay. Uh, to him, him on, I think. he wanted that list so he can yeah, see what's out there and so stop plugging away at some of that stuff. Can I just go over a couple things? Yeah, go over. Sure. All right. So we have water and sewer capital. We have active capital plans. Um, they need to be updated, but most of the sewer capital plan is complete, and I want to say maybe 60% of the water one is complete. Um, we're going to have to spend some more money in water, and once we have a plan, we'll come forward with that. Uh, regarding other infrastructure, which really should be in a capital plan, things like paving, sidewalks, drainage, um, we don't have a good capital plan, but we put stuff in place to, de to develop one. Um, we got a grant for the pavement management analysis, and that's, that's a pretty comprehensive model. Um, it, develop it develops what's called a pavement condition index, or PCI. And when you follow the model, it um, you combine how you spend your money. So let's say you spend some money on um, what's called maintenance type pavement repairs, some on full depth replacement repairs. So by means of example, a subdivision that's 25 years old, you know, you could do a, like a micro grind and do some paving there and extend the life of that road for maybe 30 years. Whereas some place like Ridge Road, where it's completely gone, that's full depth. You could use all your Chapter 90 money and then some trying to fix that road. So it, uh, the whole purpose behind the model, and it sits on top of a GIS platform that allows you to um, cut, develop, tailor a program based on what you have for money. Now, we've had a lot of our Chapter 90 money tied up over the last four or five years in getting the Palmagusset Road off the ground. That was bid this spring, and that's starting now. Mm. You've seen some of the tree work thing, already. Yeah. And the utility work should, hopefully should start soon. <laughs> but we're not in control of that job. Mass Highway controls that job. But, we probably tied up anywhere from half to three quarters of a million in engineering and design costs to get that off the ground. And all of that was funded with mostly Chapter 90 money. The town didn't pony up any cash for that. So, but it's a $7 million job. So you spend you know, all that money to get the $7 million, so it's really kind of washed. Um, but we should start seeing some Chapter 90 money actually going back into roads. Um, one of, the thing that came, one of the things that came out of the pavement analysis is, is we have a significant backlog, as anybody as you can imagine. Um, there are some local towns that um, also took put some tax levy money towards paving or uh, paving rehabilitation. Well, it's not one of them. They do in Paxton. They do in Holden. I don't know about Hubbardston. Yeah, they do. Um, whereas we rely solely on Chapter 90, we, we have quite a backlog on sort of paving work. Luckily, we got some grants last year. Um, the state funded the transportation bond bill and a lot of work was done on 56 and 68 and we got the grant to do the sidewalks on Maple which was a big hit for us. Right. Um, so our format for capital planning will, for roadway work going forward, will pretty much follow what's listed in the model. And what's cool about the model is when, and, um, when you do paving work, it automatically adjusts it and moves the PCI index and makes better recommendations for how you go forward. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we spent over the last year or so, because um, we had some grant money left, was updating the model to reflect all the paving work that was done last summer. Um, drainage, there's lots of drainage work that needs to be done in town. Um, we've made some suggestions that the town consider doing um, a stormwater utility or some other means to fund stormwater management and work through it that way. but. Um, Right now, most of the drainage work we've done is, is, is simply Band-Aid and simple maintenance. Um, but long term, we should probably have some capital funding for drainage. Uh, I mentioned water and sewer. Those are funded through the, the utility, and we have some bonds, and we borrowed some money. Um, and that's you can see that in the rate. And I think folks will start to rebound from that rate shock associated with those bonds, not this year, but next year. But we've definitely made some real progress on the sewer side. Um, and we're turning some turning a corner on water. Um, 
we got some new water main in the ground a couple years back and we we're proposing I think a thousand feet this summer on miles. Miles. Well you've had trouble down there. Yeah. A lot of trouble. It keeps breaking. So is that part of what's been borrowed or yes, is that'll that... be borrowed money. Okay. You're not gonna have to pay for that one. Well, I mean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he will. It's getting it's getting paid for. No, I'm just curious if it's already within the borrowing that's It's already within the place. existing borrowing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We were able to stretch our borrowing much further okay. on the drinking water side because um, we got ARPA money to offset the cost of replacing the water main in Pomagusset. That's right. Yeah. Um, the water main in Pomagusset, we got, I want to say, five or 600000 in, in ARPA money. But that's such a critical main, that's roughly 20% of the town's water system. Mm. Um, mm. And it basically uh, parallels the line that keeps <coughs> breaking in miles. Yeah. Um, so, so far, for the most part, all I've sent I, and I tried to, I briefly touched upon the need to have some better capital planning for the buildings. I, I, I do think um, the study was a great kickoff, a great template, um, but I think you're going to need a combination of the future town administrator, um, whoever that may be, maybe someone from this group, maybe someone from the select board to sit down and prioritize some of that building work. There's a significant amount of building Oh yeah, yeah we've all gone through um, that report in detail. Uh, and until someone does that, it's kind of hard to see what kind of direction you want to go in. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, to, so far to date, um, myself and the previous town administrator, before the acting, um, we just looked at building envelope stuff. Yeah. So we did some roof work um, and did some, um, we put some money aside for emergency repairs, which actually was a giant help because we had some boilers fail and some other problems. Um, so we focused on envelopes, so we got the roof on the community center done. Mm -hmm. That was a capital project that we got off the ground. We um, we got the heaters done in this building. That was a capital project we got off the ground. So there's some basic needs that came from that report right. that we just were able to walk through. But I, I, I strongly suggest someone needs to sit down and try and put some priority to it. Agreed. Yeah. And it's not, it shouldn't come from public works because you, I want to be at the table and I want to help in any way I can, but the, the Someone has to prioritize which building is more important than another one, and that's not a, that's not really something yeah, we should be doing. Which repairs were more important right. than the other ones? Well, there's you that. read through that report, and everything needs to be done, and you just scratch your head where do you go? Well, okay, I'll be. Cut, and well, even if you had the money, you can't do it at once. Let, let me be again. candid, though. I mean, the fire chief and the police chief's building that's a 24-hour facility. You have, and that's yep. key to keep the people in town safe. Yep. You have to spend money there. Um, this building is a multi-use building, um, and we haven't done any real maintenance over the last uh, 20 years. Um, let me just, and back to budgets before I forget, even in my time here, building maintenance has been zero funded. There's no staff, there's no, there's nobody to fix a doorknob or paint a room or anything like that. Um, so some of the, that basic stuff, I think, has been neglected for so long that that's also going to bite you on the backside. Yeah. We've, we've, we've been pushing for a building committee of some sort. Yeah. Um, but again, the document's very comprehensive. Mm -hmm. I just think somebody has to set some priorities to what you need for the town. All right? Mm -hmm. um, so far, all I've ever sent is uh, to you folks, it's been vehicles, because most of the fleet is pretty old at DPW. Mm -hmm. So aside from the sweeper and FY24, are there any vehicles? Um, I, off the, in my memory, no. I don't. Okay. I didn't ask for anything. No. Okay. I'm sorry. I got. I no, got that's that's fine. I, I just, I, you know, if, the, yeah, right. if there's some pressing need, I know it'll be at the top of your mind, and it would be there. So that's uh, all I'm looking for. Yeah. No, I don't have it at okay. the top. That, I'm going to be candid with you, because you're recording all this. <laughs> the biggest problem at DPW right now is people. Power. Sure. People. Um, we've been cut to the bone. And uh, what's been, we're running 80 miles of roadway plus with three people. Mm -hmm. All these buildings, all these parks, it's not realistic. And the cuts on the table will cut that number in half. Mm -hmm. It's not, so. We, we got you this truck, well, we approved that. Which one? The, the water truck with the plow. Water. That was last year. That's sewer. Sewer. It's um, oh sewer. Just yes. sewer it's, service. It's, it's, it says water right here though. Yeah, it's three it, quarter ton with the plow. It's a combined utility. So yeah, 
No, so last, on order. last okay, year we had the, the source service truck with the plow, and it's we also had the used t uh, five ton right. dump. We didn't get the money for the used five ton dump. So then that's recommended, but, um, but it's just fun. unfunded. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing. Um, last year, or just before the pandemic, you could buy a used five ton dump truck for $50,000. Yeah, now you can't. Yeah. Now you cannot. They don't really? exist. Wow, the last working. one you bought was that, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. But with the pandemic, any... You, so, what did we... We tried to buy the sewer truck, and they wanted me to wait a full year before I could order it. Yeah. And then when I finally could order it, it went up $30,000, so I had to cut back some of the stuff that went with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, any used vehicles out there are gone. Yeah. That market won't bounce back for five years. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's unfortunate. I hate to say this, but the reality is I, I don't have anybody to drive them anyways. Yeah, three people. Well, the, the, the sander, I mean, not the sander, the sweeper was from last year, and that's going to go through five ton dump, 50,000. You say you won't get it for that now. No, mm -hmm. you need to buy a new one. Um, plow upgrades. I bought the plow. Oh, no, it, it's, a, it's again in this year, though. Yeah. We need to buy one every year for the next five. Okay, so that will be on the budget. Then. Yeah, yeah. So what type, what kind of plow are we looking at in cost? Um, so it's here fifteen, but who knows if that's accurate anymore? How much is there? It's at fifteen here. Oh no, they're coming in about nine thousand five hundred. Okay. We're oh, so we're not talking people. capital. No. If we're buying oh, one plow, right. yeah. No, and you know, I did you guys get the memo I sent to the administrator about capital costs and what how you buy stuff in the state now? Yeah. Okay. Did that I help you with all the your limits? Yeah. Because they, the state has changed how they define how we bid stuff, and so like under ten thousand, we don't have to bid it. Under fifty thousand, we don't have to bid it. We just have to do best practice quotes. Yeah, quotes. yeah. So that's best like practice. the procurement side of it. The procurement side. And my point is though, as you, far as the you may capital, want to move your number <laughs> because it, it's just the what you consider capital. Unless you know the ten thousand in the current market, and when you buy stuff, has become very conservative. Yeah. So that's a whole other process. That's a bylaw change. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I would just. If only there were. Sure, that would be done. Really <laughs> I, I would just tell you that when you buy stuff, it's not a lot of money anymore. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, if I want to buy a ten thousand dollar piece of equipment in Massachusetts, I don't have to put it out for bid. Yeah. I don't have. All I have to do is use what's count, sound, called sound business practices. Right. I got to call three companies by phone and say, "Hey, do you have this plow? No. Okay, thanks." Or how much? That's all I have to do. Mm -hmm. Good comprehensive business practices. Up to fifty thousand, I have to make a list like this of what the truck would look like, and email quotes to like three companies. I only have to get two back. I don't have to put it in the paper, put it online, bid it all out. None of that. On up to fifty thousand. Aren't the state bids for a lot of stuff like this? The state bids for a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah. But my point is yeah. how the state looks at it from the procurement side. Yeah. They really move the benchmark. You're not putting anything out for bid. For yeah, I, I almost think though that, I, and I get what you're saying. I just, but, but when you look at, you know, let's take a typical year. The town has two to three hundred thousand dollars available in free cash. Well, you know what? Ten grand's a big piece of the pie. It is. So when you look at it from what the town uses the CIPC for, right. as far as prioritizing and and uh, looking at things. You know, I, you know, from a state perspective, yeah, fifty grand's a drop in the bucket. But for us, it's sizable money. So to try to prioritize, they kind of they're doing two different things on the procurement side versus the prioritization and the capital side on, in a, at a town level. That's just my take on it. So while maybe the ten grand should be upped a little bit, I don't see that for us getting to fifty grand. No, but I yeah. say I go to twenty, yeah. twenty-five, because the market conditions have changed that much. Yeah. You've expanded by default. You've expanded what you've gotten into. Sure. Um, and it's not. And you're you're well meaning. I'm just saying. Yeah. The cost of buying stuff has just yeah. gone up that much. Yeah. That the only thing I'd want to prioritize, and I don't have it with me, is I've got to replace like um, the small a small dump truck, uh, like a 550, um, and I'll probably do that with like utility money, retained earnings, hmm. because I can. And I only would say that simply because there's no other money. Yeah. <laughs> that might be about a hundred thousand. So you guys can continue to talk as no, as long as no action is taken. But I want to. I got to pop my head in over there. I, I'm going to get a text when Watch Who's It's done. Oh, so Watch Who's It's still on. We're good. Still on. Okay. Okay. 
I got to go over there for the Bay Path budget. So did I at least give you some idea of capital planning for? Yeah. So yeah. what I, what I've got is I've got the sweeper we wanna we wanna put on our rating process yep. for, for the year. Um, yep. The plow falls under our threshold. Right. Um, we all know about the the building capital planning. And I, I'd I, like to see someone uh, we you know, the stuff's there. Yeah. Somebody just has to step up. And unfortunately, it's it's a political process. Oh sure. Not somewhat not like an operational thing. But that you know before I forget, sorry. That's what was so cool about doing the pavement management program. We got a grant for that. Yeah. Um, Stantec engineers did it. They did a great job. Um, they just finished updating the model to reflect all the paving work we did last summer. The grant funded stuff because it moves the, it moves the index. Um, but what it does is it depoliticizes the whole process. You're doing paving based on need and value. Not if somebody lives there, yeah. <laughs> and that's so that's the, the way to do it. I mean, it's actually one of the questions I had for you, and I wanted to see sure. if we could talk through a little bit, and not necessarily road paving, but I know we had a lot of parking lot type mm -hmm. paving projects. Yeah, you had given us some estimates and all that. I was that. asked to do that by the. Administrator. I know, and but he I pushed us to try and find a way to get that done. Right. But yeah. So I, that comes from. Sorry. No, go ahead. That comes out of that study. So oh, I know. Yeah. Every single every parking lot is is cracked and and deteriorating and falling apart. Um, and every bit, you know, when you read that study, that's called out in pretty much every building analysis, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is why he called it out. But the reason I bring it up is because I don't know where that obviously it needs to be done, and I don't know where that falls in with the overall priority. If it makes it, if it rises to that level where you'd want it considered within our process, and and again, kind of piggybacking off where we went with it last year is you know there's there's, there's debt falling off the books. And the whole objective usually is to try to keep your tax rate even so that when debt falls off, it kind of gets backfilled and replaced with debt so it's it's not a no, big blurp in the radar to the ratepayer, right. to the taxpayer. That. Yeah, I get that. So are there any projects like that, whether it be to try to move ahead on the road paving study that you have in hand to get ahead of it aside from Chapter 90 money and or to also consider those parking lot paving projects? Um, do you have any idea how much money, you, how big would your bond be? In other words, when you look at debt to debt, how big of a bond are you looking at? Yeah, yeah I think we'd have to talk with Becky. Um, yeah, round numbers? I, I, you know, I, I don't want to be held even to a round number because I'm okay. not as involved in it anymore I, I, where I know the round she, numbers. So. I she mentioned it in the town meeting. Yeah, so basically, I, I think what... I online and she, that subject did come up. What we'd try to do, I don't know what the borrowing amount would be, to achieve a payment, a payment of right. about a million and a half, yeah. but that's what we're looking at. Right. So if you're looking at whatever, 15, if you can borrow a max of 15 years on a paving project, I don't know whether it's 10 or 15, yeah, think, yeah. but um, so you're so looking at multi-million dollars my pro, worth of my, borrowing. My, my priorities wouldn't lie with the paving. Okay. Okay. That's uh, what I need to know. Paving is so far behind, you could go and do a million a year every year for the next 10. All right. It's that far behind. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the town should start to make and in, start investing some um, tax money, you know, in capital and sidewalks and some street paving. I think they should do that annually, like Holden or Paxton does. I definitely do, um, because they can become more invested in the project. Um, but if you read that study, the building study, there's some stuff I think that's paramount in there that has to be addressed. Town hall. Um, say again, please. Town hall. Well, yeah, but what at Town Hall? And yeah. the big well, one for me is nothing in that building is ADA compliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. And and I mean, you touch it. Yeah. You got to do it all. You got to do it all. So and so like, you have what five people working there? You have no. They you know, You have one floor with no bathrooms. You have. Um, it, it, it was built in the '30s. I, so what, going so, back to the, the conversation about dispatch, if we're looking at moving dispatch into the annex, what's the talk of where are the people in the annex going? Are they going into town hall? And if so, where in town hall are they going? Because there's no space. They may end up here. They may end up at the community center. Um, the one thing that the study did call out is you've got unused space in town buildings. There's no way around unused it. or not or minimally used. How's that? Minimally, but accessible. That's the problem. Maybe well, unused, but it's unused because we can't use it. But I think to answer your question, I would start <coughs> with focusing on what you deem as needable space here to operate town operations, police, fire, um, meeting space like this building, um, and uh, 
your ADA compliance, which is arcane. You know, you have to address that stuff at community hall. You have to address that stuff at the community center. Um, and you have to stop the leaks on, and I mean literally like hemorrhaging on things like this building needs to either be painted or sided. All the windows need to be done at the community center. Um, that building needs to be sided. Um, so I think you have to set some priorities for which buildings are most critical for town operations. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to secure the building envelopes to make sure you don't degrade any further. Um, and then after that, you can talk about some paving. Okay. I hope and that helps. No, it does, because that, that's, that's that helps me understand where your mind yeah, is does. as far as priority goes, right. where that falls in it. I get it. Yeah. Okay. I, I agree. The, the, the building, the infrastructure is just going to be the priority. Um, I mean, obviously the big ones for me are make sure the drinking water is safe and you can flush and it's safe and, you know, there's no massive holes in the roads and the roads are passable and stuff and, you know, items like that. Don't get me wrong. That's by far. Right. The public works priority but before you did paving at community hall or paving i think i would try and take on some of the structural intent of the building do you agree i agree i, I agree with you John. But, yeah. so i guess that kind of morphs into the next question is there anything within that realm that should be considered as far as a recommendation from us goes this year we've talked about windows at the community hall we've talked about siding at the at the community center i'm sorry well, I think, we've uh, talked about those different envelope type issues is there anything we should be considering and and the other thing that's going through my mind is you know there's there's one time money out there now sure for very from various you know things that have happened in the town yep and you know I think we'd want to have our recommendations on the table as far as some of those priorities to be factored into the mix when how to spend that money is talked about, right? So what are those envelope concerns and should we be putting them on our list to go through our process in the FY24 year? Before you answer that, just so you're aware, um, ARPA, approved ARPA money for buildings right now is a scope of work and cost to replace windows and siding at the library and senior center. There's 30,000 earmarked for that. It's earmarked in it, there. Yeah, okay. so that, that's already been um, committed. That's just design cost. We, that, and that's so we that's not a study, yep. okay? <clears throat> Can I just interrupt yep. you just briefly? Mm -hmm. That's not a study. The study is the big document you read, okay? The guy looked right. at it and said, you know, you need, buildings, you need windows and siding and uh, to protect this building. That money is to have an engineer give you a set of plans and specs to put it on the street to bid. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So that's all great. Yep. That's but again, the, to spend $30 right, on a 30, plan 000. of specs, yep. 30000 right. for a plan of specs to sit on the shelf and collect dust is right. useless money. Right. So my concern is, is once we spend that thirty grand right. and we know what the requirements are, we need to make sure we have funds allocated right. and prioritized right. to actually do it. Fair enough. <laughs> we agree. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm what trying that's to. For. That's what I'm trying to get my head around, so yep. we can make our recommendations to align with those priorities yep. for yep. these. Well, I just want to let you yeah. know what, what the studies are being done, yeah. so you guys can be prepared to fund them once we have yep. a okay. dollar. So it's it's for both <laughs> envelopes of this building. Assuming this is money, they're going to let us. Right. So through. windows at library and. But at the same time. Community center. Don't discount the fact that they. Um, yeah, windows and siding at both buildings. The, oh, it's uh, siding too. Yeah, siding both buildings. Um, they put 20000 aside for the water issue at the public safety building that's in process now. Um, 62500 for the Woodhouse building repairs. Can you email me that by chance? Absolutely. Yeah, that would be really helpful because yeah, I can't yeah. keep up with you. Okay. <laughs> oh, you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything left? No, that was it. Those are the three buildings. Now, uh, the Woodhouse stuff, I got the chimneys done. Yep. I got the stairs fixed. Yep. And I got the, um, the, the ventilation problem addressed. Yep. They have a boiler issue. They have a boiler issue. Foundation issue in the back of the roof. On the back of the roof. No, and um, plumbing. They need some plumbing work in that building. Yeah. The main drain is leaking. But it's got a new roof now. Yeah. So I hope that helps, Joe. Where were you reading from, Seth? I'm, I'm trying reading. to find the, so, the future items down here. No. no. Very well. All right. No, these. Woodhouse evaluate those right here and then you'll see the money that okay. was appropriated all right okay. prices we got for today for water main mm -hmm. 450 dollars a foot eight inch main that's what the bids are coming in 450 dollars a foot eight inch eight, oh my eight God. and twelve 400. can you imagine when we started it was what buck fifty 
We started, no, in, in bids. Bids I was putting out, it was like $80 a foot. Yeah. Six inch pipe would be $60 a foot. Yeah. And so you can't I, get pipe. I mean, I, I hate to. We don't have a lot on our plate, quite frankly, that's been submitted anyhow. I'm going to be as candid as I can. With the last two budget seasons, I'm reluctant to ask for anything. Well, even if we were, I guess what's going through my mind is I look at things like this where money is being spent to mm -hmm. gather the information we need to do things. Yep. It's kind of silly to spend money on other things until this is until buttoned we see up and what complete. it's going to cost. Not only see yeah. what it's going to cost, but actually and follow follow through, follow just follow through with it. Follow through with it. Yeah. Through with yeah. It. I, I, you know, I, I don't even want to go there. Gary's here now on this come in but that money that they got for the the land is basically free cash but i don't know what it's earmarked for or where it would go well that's part of what i was referring to when they i said can't use it yet though no no they need a year they might be able to borrow against it if they have to but i think it's got to sit for a year okay yes, all the studies should be in by then right, right? <laughs> yeah uh, not studies you no they're not up. studies they're not studies so all the planning should be in by then. right and well, it should be part of the certified free cash in November, in the fall, I would think. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that has to sit here. You don't have it that quick, do you? No, 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 no. no. That's no, last year's free cash is what's available in November. It's for the cycle that closed. No. No. It's this current oh, fiscal right. year that gets that's certified right. in the fall. That's yeah. Right. Because the fiscal year ends in June 30th. Yeah. So the fall free cash is from this fiscal year, and that money was collected in this fiscal year. Unless there's some got you that you can't spend it right away or something. Well, I can't I imagine. I mean, there is a gotcha. I know there is. Really? I, just, I, I can't properly describe okay. it because it's not my yeah. area of expertise. I, somebody mentioned it at the, the meeting two weeks ago, and uh, I thought Becky or somebody said that that's free cash. Well, it should be. If, if ultimately yeah. it will be, unless it's some other uh, um, well, it garbage. Well, eventually. Let's put it that way. Some Whether of it will some, be, yes. Yeah. Okay. It, won't, it won't all go to the general fund, I don't think. I don't know. Well, I, part of it has to go to paying the rest of the debt. That's that's a done deal. Yeah. 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 How much is that? It yeah. can't be much at this point. I didn't think so. But yeah. Um, so, again, the only thing I'm going to need is a 550. I've got to replace one of those. It's not on the list. I need to... So can you send us the... the, the that? Yeah. Everything around it? Yeah. yeah. The use, you know, what it's replacing, the, you know, the cost, everything, the normal stuff. You got one more little item here, and this may come under the ten grand if you're doing it piecemeal or something. Facilities update and repair. Overhead see. doors, HVAC, security lifts. And, I mean, that, this is the report Ron put together. You know? No, I wrote that. Yeah. Um, the DPW facility is twenty years old now. Yeah. Um, we need floors. Um, all the tiles coming up. I made arrangements to get some repairs done. We've had to do some pretty major heating repairs already. Um, and what I said to him was we should start putting money aside every year for maybe the next five to start making repairs and updates to the building. With a lot of these repairs being done piecemeal, beyond the 10 grand each? Yep. Like the doors and stuff. Right. But and so as long as you're putting the cash aside. Well, I can't put the cash in the operating budget because they've cut it so far. Oh. So there's no 10 grand to put aside. Okay. So it's got to be... Special articles or... Yeah. I mean, don't discount the fact that Snow and Ice fill, finished up, I don't know, a quarter million in the hole. Um, we couldn't fund fuel and electricity at the end of last year. We had to move ARPA money to cover that gap. Mm. So, there's no capital budget at DPW for repairs of this nature. We can't buy gravel to put in gravel roads right now, so that's not going to happen. That's why it has to be listed here, yeah. and has to be considered. Mm. But to operate and maintain the building in the long term, somebody has to start investing in the building, yes. Are they under the, would be stuff, is it, do I have to do a door, they're probably two or $3,000 a piece? Yeah, they're rusted out, they need to be repaired. But can I budget it in the DPW budget? No. No. It's too tight. So if by some means there's free cash available for us to That's the only way we get them. Yep. Yeah. I mean... And nobody will answer that question. What if we going to get some free cash? Look at some other stuff with the free cash mess. Like the fall town meeting. Um, we zero funded uh, forestry by means of example. I had 10 or 12 trees that were really dangerous that had to come down. We took money out of the highway operations budget, cut the, hired somebody off the state contract, yeah, cut down some trees and then went back 
at the fall time meeting and asked for that money and people were kind enough to give it back to us yeah. so that we could buy you know stuff for the highway department but you know you really you know that's you're taking that one time free cash money to go fund an operating account yeah well um can i ask a question on anything yeah going back to this so am i reading this right seth where funds not allocated to projects about 850 correct okay that's what's left yep yep after everything, after above, everything yes correct even if it's not spent okay. yes yeah so my question is because you're on the the committee obviously right the committee's been disbanded, disbanded. it's oh, like okay. it's now under full control of the sector. okay so which it always was we were just recommending body so can we no longer speak about it i don't know when don't when know. we look at the like the three projects where money is expected to be spent yep. to figure out what needs to be done um is any of that 850 thought about to be allocated to the actual work it was originally yeah that makes but so it was sense. never brought forward to the it's like board for approval because we never had a dollar amount at that point okay is yeah. that the intent though i guess that is was the I'm original heading. intent yeah is it still the intent i couldn't i can't answer for the board now Okay. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, they took us out of the process. We both sat on the ARPA committee. Okay. Uh, I'm, all I'm trying to get at is, I, I mean, a, whoever needs to initiate it, I don't know who it is, but in a perfect world, it, you're it, correct. It, it sounds like it's worth having that conversation yep. to get that buy-in yep. and that agreement that hey, we got eight fifty on the table. We're spending whatever it is here, one hundred ten thousand dollars on these projects yep. to figure out what it is. Okay, let's not let's not touch the eight fifty until we know how much that's going to cost us yep. to finish those projects and yep. get an agreement that hey, that's how we're going to spend the eight fifty. Yep. Okay, that would be the. We perfect. agree with you. Yeah, okay, we totally it makes agree. It's, so much sense. I, I, I am mean, I hearing yeah, that potentially that's not where the full mindset is across the board? We have no idea. We don't know. Oh, okay. Um, Interesting. They disbanded the Apple committee back in November, right? And took it back, took full control over it, and there's been really no what discussion until Harry came to the last select board meeting to discuss it. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware of that. So, how did that go? Did, was any consensus reached? Basically, there? they they wanted to spend the money on making Project Shovel ready. Making project what? Any particular projects? No, no. Could be those. They could be those. Those. Could, could be you know, doing them. Yeah. Work Could be yeah. community, the town hall, you know, renovation project, okay. getting that shovel ready, you know, doing the whole design and getting, you know, so documents. another design that we don't have money to execute, right? But then they would have a then they would have a dollar Sorry, amount. That's my dollar. comment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, no, you know what? There were originally some numbers for doing like windows and siding and the yeah. facilities okay. report, and we took in modified and, and those costs included some design you know design bid document construction stuff construction management piece and um, that's where those numbers come from yep okay. um, but we did talk about putting mm -hmm. them out and it just stopped okay I'll email you a spreadsheet that way you'll have the okay you can see I don't know why all right I, I honestly don't I thought we got a lot done mm -hmm. it's unfortunate Sounds like you were heading in the right direction. All right. I don't have any other questions. This has been helpful. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just want to make sure we have what we need from you guys to yeah. consider for sure. FY24, right. and it sounds like we do. You, yeah. you could go back and get things on Windows and siding from that report and probably update it by 25%, and you'll have a number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, well, that's why, you know, it's difficult for me to think that we don't have some realm of idea of what no, this we is do. going to translate. No, we do. I just don't have it in my head. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't come prepared. What's wrong with you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Black asleep. <laughs> I think it also depends upon how old the information is. Well, it's only, what, I mean, two, I, that was two, two years, years ago. I think specifically yeah. about the, the, one of the, the, the most recent plan for the town hall refurb. But no, I'm, we're talking about the smaller years. things like the yeah. windows and the, yeah. the siding and the right, things like right, that. Right. Yeah, the, the the town hall most recent one. That's like a decade. There's not enough money that to pay for that. No, no, like oh. Mike Dickelson did one. Yeah, but that was only a space. A that was only a tabletop drawing of you know. Oh, yeah. It was conceptual. It was yeah. Thing. It was a conceptual uh, drawing okay. of space and utilizing the space. And I, I'm not. I love that building. I think it's cool. It's an iconic building for town. It's you know. Some of the updates that are needed may be cost prohibitive. Yeah. Yeah. An elevator? And yeah. There's a lot yeah. more than that. 
and a lot more than that. Yeah. Just for starters, that's a big one. Yeah. And but, the way, where do you put everyone during that process? I, but that one was sided. That one has a relatively recent roof, and that has new windows. So whatever's going on the inside, it's not going to at least run away. Yeah. Whereas this one has the original siding. The siding's failing at the community center. Um, yep. And these are both ADA compliant. Right. Yeah. Okay. Small money compared to town hall. Yep. It is. We did some preliminary stuff on where to move people, but. Well, I think we got a whole lot to think about. I'll um, get you something on the 550. Thank you. Um, I'm excited about the sweeper. I'm just worried about not having anybody to drive it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Put it in the center of town and display. <laughs> well, see the keys in there. Like, <laughs> even if, even Can if you get rated on it? I mean, I'm yeah. not going to get rated. <laughs> but he, here's the I'm thing, even if it here. gets voted in, in May and, and we the funding's put aside and we next ordered spring, it maybe next maybe spring. next spring yeah can you limp another season out of the one we got you never made it to my road last year how do you know <laughs> huh how do you know <laughs> oh I know I think that's on our road okay I think we're good I, I think as far as our next meeting we've got items to to now Put through our process. Yeah. And, uh, that'll be the objective for the next next session. Do we have one on the calendar? I thought we did. I don't. I don't have one on my calendar. I, well, I shouldn't say that. I should look at it before I speak. I thought we had one in April, but I could be. I don't think so. Well, I have nothing well, scheduled on the Thursday night in April. Want to schedule one? Yeah, I, we should put one on. Uh, I can tell you in just a minute. Okay. Because I'm I not have seeing to one talk either. About is it April 20? Is that a Thursday night? Yeah. That is a Thursday, but I, I don't then see that's it. that's the one, because that's the one that FinCon couldn't get in Calkins. That's fin <coughs> FinCon couldn't what? Get into the Calkins room, the other room. Because we have it? Because you have it. Oh, what? I better what? put it on our calendar then. <laughs> that's a school vacation week. I don't know if that's a problem. Yeah. The, and uh, that's a few weeks out. I don't know if we should. Are you available or? I think so. Okay. No. I, I didn't know if we should go like the 6th or the 13th. So are, you, are you running that week? I am running that week, yeah. But I'll be walkable <laughs> by, okay. by Thursday. By Thursday. <laughs> the, um, oh, you're doing the marathon? Good for you. Yeah, Monday, 17th. Well, you ready? Never. You've done it before? So I've done Boston before, yeah. Oh, have you? Yeah, not for 10 years. Well, good for you. Most so, I ever go is a half. I don't think I get a do for Do we want to do the 20th, or do you want to do like the 6th or the 13th? Um, well, it sounds like we already have the 20th, so why don't we put the 20th down, okay. and then why don't we, on top of the 20th, look at the 6th, if we can get it. Is there, do you, you know? do this room. This room's available the 6th? So why don't we, if you guys are available the 6th, and then we're already on for the 20th. Does that work? Um, sure. And in fact, if you want to do this room on the 20th, I, made, I know that it's free also. The, um, before okay. we get the paving study is available on the website. I, was, I think you sent that to us too. Yeah, I think as a, as a email. Yeah, I may have it. It's being updated. On my iPad. Um, because they, they they did a model run for me, so it's being yeah. cleaned up. So I'll make that available too. If it's, a, uh, I'll make sure I have it. I'd like to take a look at it. Yeah, I think I'm good for both days. Okay. Um, so the sixth and the twentieth. Oh, well, here we go. Sixth. So what we'll plan on for the sixth is for the the items that we have on our list we can put through our process and uh, probably also have some maybe we can get Gary in too yeah. and talk about some of the opera questions we got right and he wanted to talk to us uh, Gary. right right okay but, but I mean, no. that may not happen tonight you may want to talk would they want to talk to the select board they want to ask to have to do with his band Gary will that be able to answer some of their questions okay the 6th and the 20th yeah. Uh, what else did we have? I think that's that's all that we had on for the um, Harry had on for the agenda. Before I forget, um, long term big picture plans for water. We need a second source. Okay, a what? A second source or a backup oh. source or a tie to another town or something. Because mm -hmm. we have no backup. Mm. So and we have a lot of people using water, a lot more than you think. Roughly 53, 55 percent of the households in town are on water and sewer. So even though they're in a smaller area, a lot more homes use water and sewer than you realize. Um, 
and for fire protection in the growing town, you need a second source or access to backup water. Um, we had some ARPA funding in there. Um, that's kind of stalled for some technical reasons I'd rather not get into, but it's critical that that gets off the ground in the long term. Um, there was a big thing that came out today about PFAS, which hopefully I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, that could get expensive as well. And also don't discount that your water plant is 25 years old plus. Well, you upgraded some of the tanks over the last couple of years. I you? did, but I had another tank failure recently. Okay. So, um, anyways. Is, is there any thought of a study on that, an alternate source? Yeah, it's in there. It's just it got stuck with some for, in conversation for another day. But yes, there are some okay. thoughts. We're looking at it preferably to keep the town independent. We would prefer to get some, like a well, mm -hmm. or a series of wells. Yeah. If that's not an option, we'd probably do a backup connection to Holden or Paxton. Yeah. They both have access to Worcester and to the Endover A source. Um, I, I'm reluctant to go directly to the Endover A. Oh yeah. Um. What, where is the water alternative water source? Down a little bit lower. It should be with the buildings. It should be right in front of the right. It's like 120. 000. Could you could you give us a? Oh, I see it. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. It, um, Scan it. Well, if you if you send it to me, I'll get it to yeah, you guys. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. But long term, it's real important. Please give that some thought. Um, Based on what comes out of that, we'd probably go for some grant money or, or even do an SRF, consider SRF yeah. or whatever we got to do. But long term, we need a backup access to water. And it's not Armageddon, but what happens if something get if the reservoir got polluted or if some or if for whatever reason you have a massive failure? We don't. We can't buy water from anybody. We have no backup. Do you follow? Yeah. Bad. Should sure, tie into the line where it crosses 68. It's 400 feet down. I know. 500 <laughs> feet down. Yeah, I know. You'd be pumping and pumping and pumping. Pumping. And, <laughs> and if Worcester has to do it, that's what they do. They pump and pump. Shaft three. Shaft three. Yeah. Uh, it actually, I, th I think that's only 300, not 400. Well, you're uh, It's Rutland's a big hill. Yeah. It goes right under it through the rocks. So, mm. so please, Joe. As stuff comes forward, if anything is going to be critical for DPW, the next five years, it'll be backup drinking water source. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roads can crumble. Everything else can go wrong. Backup water source. <laughs> well, and that's, you know, it would water. be good to get some closure on where the mindset is to head with these items because, mm -hmm. again, you know, that's another them, item. Let's just finish them. Tied into a hold in the hill? I is thought that was clear? a yeah, you said there's no source, but I always thought there was a tie into Holden at some point. No, because no. Holden pumped from the reservoir from the other side, yeah. and they were never cross connected. Okay. Yeah. Just we talk to just them. Just sewer tie. We talk to them now, but back yeah. in the day, I don't think they talked much. Yeah. yeah. No, it was yeah. It's probably a half mile stretch between their end of their line to our line. Remember what I just how said? Would, how far would Paxton be? Remember what I just said? It's further. Four hundred and fifty is the bid price right now. <laughs> Four hundred fifty dollars a foot. Yeah. Wow. And that's just the cost of the pipe. No, no, that's everything. All right. A Helpful. lot of that money's paving. Hmm? A lot of that money's paving. Yeah. Wow. All right, you guys good? Anything else? Good. You gentlemen, good. I'm good. All right. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate all the, Can you, the is that information. For a sec? It will be it when, will when be. we disband here. I make a motion that we call the meeting to end. Is there a second to I'll adjourn? Second. All those in favor of adjournment? Adjournment. Aye. Aye. Opposition. Motion carries. <laughs> Seven thirty.